The Seahawks are at home against the 49ers this week, and here are a few numbers that we are tracking. Hello, everyone. I'm Jen Mueller alongside John Boyle. And John, the first number I'm looking at is four, and that is the number of times that 49ers quarterback Nick Mullins has been sacked in his three starts. But I think there's an opportunity for the Hawks. Yeah, the Seahawks would love to add to that total. And, the, you know, the pass rush has been a little come and go hit and miss for the Seahawks this year. Coming off a game when they didn't have any sacks, only one quarterback hit, a lot of credit goes to Cam Newton and the Panthers. That's a great offense, but the Seahawks want to always get to the quarterback. That's how you get turnovers. That's how you end drives. So, yeah, they need to get to Mullins. He's a young quarterback. He's playing in CenturyLink Field for the first time, which we know is always a tough test. So get some pressure, and I think that's really going to help the Seahawks defense. Let's stick with defense as the theme, and let's go with 17 as the next number, although I guess we should probably say that minus 17. Yeah, that's the, unfortunately for the 49ers, that's their turnover differential, which is one of the worst in the NFL. Seahawks, meanwhile, are plus eight, which is tied for fifth best. That number really tells the story of the seasons for these two teams, because when you look at their stats, total offense, total defense, they're pretty similar, but when you're giving the ball up, when you're not getting it away, it's hard to win games. Conversely, the Seahawks, they've been winning the turnover battle more often than not, and that's why they're in the playoff hunt. Yeah, they had more opportunities last week. This week, let's see what they can do. Our last number is 339, and it's a number that we haven't focused on or a part of the game we haven't focused on much. Yeah, we've talked a lot this year about the Seahawks running game for good reason, but last week, 339, that was the number of passing yards Russell Wilson had in a game where the running game was tough to get going. The Seahawks only rushed for 75 yards, and when they had to throw it, they showed they could do it. That's the balance Pete Carroll talks about all the time that he wants. It's not that they care about how many rushing yards and passing yards each game. It's that they want to make sure that they can do whatever it takes to win. And we saw that last week. Yeah, and the Seahawks want to get off to a good start in the month of December because four of their last five games are at home. Those are the numbers that we are watching. Make sure that you read everything John Boyle writes on Seahawks.com and listen to the Hawks on the Seahawks radio network.